Hello and welcome back to a Kooky Corner of YouTube. It's February! <laughs> yes it is, it's the first day of February and so that means one thing. It means that we are now into the second month of our Kooky Postcard Sew Along and it also means today that you get a new prompt. So the prompt for this month is Zodiac Mind Warp. Now, I want you to think outside of the box on this one. You could go, or you could stay within the box. You could kind of think zodiac, so you could go for zodiac signs, your zodiac sign, the sign of the month of February. There are a couple in there that you can pick from. Um, you could go for the Chinese zodiac. So this year is the year of the dragon, starting from the February the 10th, I do believe, is when um, the Chinese New Year starts because it's a, a lunar calendar that they work to i think if i am correct um so if you wanted to go that way stick within your zodiacs um you could try that um our zodiac the um the zodiac that we usually use has a lot of different characters and it's a lot of animal um half animal um with the scales i don't know whether that would be a person or a thing but with the chinese zodiac they are all animals so um lots to pick from there um the other thing you could go with is and thinking this is the point i was making thinking outside of the box so zodiac so thinking astrological astronomical so space you could do something with galaxies in it you could go with planets you could go with goddesses that rule the planets or gods that rule the planets it really is quite open to interpretation because it's mind warp <laughs> so you can go straight with the zodiac or you can go a bit warpy and go with things around it so planets constellations stars you name it um, i'm sure that you can come up with it mind and map it out see what you can come up with i'm going to show you my two because i made two because i just did so the first one i did was this one and this one is the chinese dragon obviously because i went for the zodiac uh the year of the dragon which is this year as i said from the 10th of february i went with a traditional slow stitch background um I've done a few videos on how to put these together. So if you want to look back and see how I layer mine up. Um, and then um, if you were saw the video on Barry the Walrus, I used a similar technique for this particular dragon. So I printed it out on the, um, on the Solvi and then transferred it over and then painted it so once i'd stitched it i then painted it and it was painted with a combination of ink tense pencils neo colors and these the little analinky dye based watercolors so he, he had a, quite a few things going on with him there so let's show you a bit of a close-up so all around him was stitched. I did the stitching first and the painting afterwards. I could have done it the other way around, but you know what? That's the way it worked. Um, he's in a little circle and outlined. Um, and then stitched him onto the backing, which I've made as well, and stitched into, there's lots of stitching into going on, on here. A couple of buttons added in there as well to to finish it off and because i didn't want the raw edges on here to start falling apart because it's something that i like i think might be handled or if you did actually want to send it as a postcard um to someone at the end of this then you know you want it to be fairly secure um and i know on some of the ones from january uh, i think it's annie and christine did an actual postcard backing on theirs and that's great i did on a couple of the other ones i made i'm just seeing if i can find it it's probably run away now but i had a postcard backing no it's gone <laughs> it's hiding 
just trying to find it now it's definitely gone um but yeah they did if you look back on the video um well if you look on this video actually because i'm going to show you um the people's um pieces who took part for the january one so it's going to be a showcase of the january um sal at the end of this video anyway so that was the first one i did um if you've got any questions on that and you want to know how i put it together it was just then backed with another piece of felt so it's kind of a sturdy piece and it's just really nice to touch actually so i've got lots of little beads and sequins in there as well and the stitching's quite nice to you know it's very tactile next piece i did i went with the traditional our our version of a zodiac and i just took the symbol and this was a piece of felt um it's like a metallic felt i got it from paper and string and um that was just appliqued on top again of slow stitching where i just went to town with spirals and stitching in and little starry flowers and sequins and beads i'm still finishing this one up i'm still putting the back in on that one but that's just backed over again with another piece and finished off in a similar way so with a little bit of um, an edging on it so those are my two for this month um, I want you to think outside the box think of you know you, you can go along with a star sign do something different go with planets goddesses you name it I'm sure you can come up with something brilliant so that's those two um, so now I'm going to show you all of the lovely creations that were made for the January sew along postcard and it was cozy it up and the people who took part in it certainly did that I can absolutely assure you that they have well blown my mind again with some of the beautiful beautiful creations that I've could have they have come up with i'm losing my words look see i'm stumbling over my words i'm so excited and i'm sure you will enjoy having a look at their work so that's going to be now
So that was great, wasn't it? Having a look at everybody else's pieces, and I'm sure that's quite inspiring. There's so many different ways you can take things, and I love how everybody has their own interpretation of a prompt, which is why I love prompts so much, you know, how you work out what you're going to do, and that's all part of the fun. Anyway, if you didn't get to do January's, don't worry, jump in on February's. <laughs> there are no strict rules. The only big rule on this is that it's got to be six by five piece, and you can do it as quilting, you can do it as needle felting, you could do it as slow stitching, you could do it as a combination of all three if you wanted to, if you can fit everything in together. The sky is your limit. So um, if you wanted to do quick, you know, traditional quilted backgrounds, you know, that'd be lovely. So um, whatever you've got time for, you've got a whole month to do it in. So I want to see uh, pictures coming my way I would say I'd like to get them in so that I can do a video. So if we could say the 12 o'clock on the last day of February, 12 noon is going to be, if you want your picture to be involved, obviously, if you just want to carry on, you don't really mind uh, not having your picture shown, then, you know, just carry on. You could even go back and do January's if you wanted to, you know, if you've got enough time, <laughs> you could do that as well. Um, so the hashtag this month is going to be exactly the same. It's going to be Kooky, Kooky Postcard Sal 2024, but at the end it's going to be Feb, F-E-B, at the end, say, for February, so that I can differentiate it from the other ones. Anyway, that's enough waffling from me. I hope to see you back here soon with something else. Bye for now.